their passion to enlighten, elevate, and entertain us all. These films hit us to our core, and those are the stories I wanted to share with you. Here's one of the many brilliant real-life story documentary films that we brought to you on the OWN Network. Engage, and sometimes enrage us. Tonight's documentary is Misrepresentation, with an all-star cast of influential women, Katie Couric, Nancy Pelosi, Condoleezza Rice, Gloria Steinem, and Rachel Maddow. Misrepresentation is the controversial exploration of the misrepresentation of women in the media. The fact that media are so derogatory to the most powerful women in the country, that's a loss for the world. Breast implants, did you have them or not? Because that's all over the internet about you in mainstream media. When is it gonna be enough? We're creating new leaders, and they're going to not look like how they always did, an older white male. They're going to look like a woman, and they're going to look like people of color. And now, I'm proud to present the premiere of Misrepresentation. There's somewhere north of a billion people who use the internet every single day. That's just a reach that hasn't existed before in terms of media. Our kids today live on Facebook and cell phones. The diversity of the platforms means that those images are impacting your kid 24-7. And whatever restrictions existed when we were growing up simply don't exist today. Girls get the message from very early on that what's most important is having both. That their value, their worth, depends on that. And boys get the message that this is what's important about girls. We get it from advertising, we get it from films, we get it from television shows, video games, everywhere we look. So no matter what else a woman does, no matter what else her achievements, their value still depends on how they look. There is no appreciation for women intellectuals. <laughs> it's all about the body, not about the brain. You all saw the famous uh, photo from the weekend of Hillary looking so haggard and what, looking like 92 years old. Breast implants, did you have them or not? Because that's all over the internet about you in mainstream media. I think if you waterboarded Nancy Pelosi, she wouldn't admit to plastic surgery. The fact that media are so limiting and so...